Hey, welcome back. How you doing? Just in time. Taking the top off the pineapple. Remember, put this in the ground and grow it into a new pineapple plant. We, we talked about making this a little easier for people to cut. So you're gonna go like that, flatten it out. Flatten out the curve, as they say. Then shave this pineapple down. This pineapple is nice and ripe. Nice and sweet pineapple. Costa Rican gold, we call it. Not like Acapulco gold. All these, throw them away into the compost patch. Take it all the way down. Take the eyes out, as they say. All right. Now let's see what we got going here. It's pretty good. Clean that up. All right, you see the heart of the pineapple in there? You want to get rid of that? So I'm going to just quarter this thing right down the middle here. Right down the middle here. All right. And then you get your four quarters of the pineapple. We're going to cut this part out like that. The heart. Cut out the heart. All right, get rid of the heart for the... Patch, heart removed, Corazon out. All right, we're gonna do something a little different tonight. Everybody associates uh, prosciutto or jamón serrano. This is Spanish jamón serrano. You would think that I'd be uh, working with a cantaloupe right now, but instead I've chosen to do something different here. We're gonna do spears. Cut these into spears, all right? Spears and pineapple, all right? So this is gonna be a great appetizer for wine and cheese night. Remember, cut them into spears. Okay, there's that. Spears and pineapple with some local goat cheese. I put some chives on top and chives in the middle. Made my own little goat cheese lasagna. We're gonna serve that with the wine. I wanna take you back to Ramos Pinto. Famous for port wine. Have you ever been in Monica's room at Friends? She's got a poster of that in her room talking about Friends. So this is for all our friends out there. Check it out. Ramos Pinto port wine. They've got many selections, also a Duas Quintas, which is a two farms, red and white, from Portugal, which is a still wine. It's not a port. Excellent. Try that. So this is what we're going to do. Check it out. There we go. Check it out. It says Jim from Huntington Beach. We're going to get this hot. We're going to take our spears of pineapple. We've laid out the, the serrano. And we're going to just roll it up, as they say. Okay, again, take your Serrano ham. You can buy this pre-sliced, obviously. V&S Deli will get it for you, some prosciutto or some jamón serrano. And then we're just gonna roll up our spears of pineapple. This is a great starter for wine hour. Okay. Lay your prosciutto down or your serrano. And just roll it up. Don't let that body. Alright, let's see how we do it. Okay. One more serrano. There you go, your pineapple spears. We've got a pan here that's getting hot. We're gonna keep that hot. Roll up a little bit more pineapple. These are pre-sliced serrano, so you can literally just take it like that onto your cutting board. Remove the plastic. It helps in between the layers, paper or plastic, whatever it is. And again, the rolling technique. It's real simple. Roll it around your spear of pineapple. All right, so here we go. Hot pan. Here we go. They're gonna go right into this. 
This is non-traditional. You can hear I'm cooking. Pineapple spears rolled with serrano ham. Or prosciutto, whichever you prefer. From Argentina, it'd be called jamón crudo. Aged Argentinian ham. So you're just gonna literally let those get nice and crispy, and you're gonna serve it along with your favorite creamy goat cheese. Set it up. Let's go all the way up. Gonna get that nice and crispy. Reminds me of the old days. Ramaki. Ever heard of Ramaki? Forget about it. We're doing pineapple wrap. Prosciutto, serrano, jamon frugo. Say it how you like it. It is what it is. We don't like to think about it that way, though. This is Costa Rica, baby. How y'all doing? It's Friday, yeah! Yeah, Nellie said she's not going to drink. You can see Nellie behind the camera. She's in her Bert and Ernie or somebody pajamas. I don't know what she's got on. The old lemon says squeeze me. There you go. Let's step on that. You know, let that get nice and crispy. Well, that's going. I'll let you enjoy some music from Galicia, which is northern Spain. All right, let's take a look here. First one's at one end. Yeah, caramelized pineapple a little bit. The idea is to get a little caramelization and get that serrano crispy. There you go. There you go. You can do this under your broiler, but I just like to do it right on top of the stove. There you go, nice and crispy. See, it peels itself right up. You can hear the sizzling of the serrano ham and Costa Rican gold pineapple. It's Friday. You know what it means in Costa Rica. Another Friday raining. Tropical, tropical, tropical rain coming in off the Pacific. There you go. Keep that right on the highest temperature possible. Keep your eye on it. See how crispy that Serrano has gotten? Look at that. There you go. That's what we're looking for. And also the caramelization of the master sugar to the pineapple. Flip this bad boy over. There you go. This one's going to have a nice crusty top too. Okay. 
There it is. Crispy Serrano wrap. Costa Rican gold pineapple. And this is how we're gonna do it. You can lay these out for your guests, however you like. This is how I'm gonna do it tonight. One, two, three. We're gonna go triangular like that. Welcome to the dark side of the moon. Okay. For your presentation. Or just have them on a platter for your guests. And then what we're gonna do here is just dollop in some of this, this creamy goat cheese right in the center of each one. You can serve this with or without crostini. Uh, that's, that's optional for you. But there you have it. Friday night treat. Serrano Rep. Costa Rican gold pineapple. Coming to you live from Lemon Zest. See you at the end of the world winery in Patagonia. Adios.